The Maastricht Treaty undertaken to integrate Europe was signed on February 7, 1992 by the members of the European Community in Maastricht, Netherlands. On 9 Euro December 10, 1991, the same city hosted the European Council which drafted the treaty. Upon its entry into force on November 1, 1993 during the Dealers' Commission, it created the European Union and led to the creation of the single European currency, the Euro. The Maastricht Treaty has been amended by the Treaties of Amsterdam, Nice and Lisbon. Content, the treaty led to the creation of the Euro. One of the obligations of the treaty for the members was to keep sound fiscal policies, with debt limited to 60% of GDP and annual deficits no greater than 3% of GDP. The treaty also created what was commonly referred to as the pillar structure of the European Union. The treaty established the three pillars of the European Union a Euro the European Community Pillar, the Common Foreign and Security Policy Pillar, and the Justice and Home Affairs Pillar. The first pillar was where the EU's supranational institutions a Euro the Commission, the European Parliament and the European Court of Justitia Euro had the most power and influence. The other two pillars were essentially more intergovernmental in nature with decisions being made by committees composed of member states politicians and officials. All three pillars were the extensions of existing policy structures. The European Community Pillar was the continuation of the European Economic Community with the economic being dropped from the name to represent the wider policy base given by the Maastricht Treaty. Coordination in foreign policy had taken place since the beginning of the 1970s under the name of European Political Cooperation, which had been first written into the treaties by the Single European Act but not as a part of the EEC. While the Justice and Home Affairs Pillar extended cooperation in law enforcement, criminal justice, asylum, and immigration and judicial cooperation in civil matters, some of these areas had already been subject to intergovernmental cooperation under the Schengen Implementation Convention of 1990. The creation of the pillar system was the result of the desire by many member states to extend the European economic community to the areas of foreign policy, military, criminal justice, and judicial cooperation. This desire was set off against the misgivings of other member states, notably the United Kingdom overriding areas which they considered to be too sensitive to be managed by the supranational mechanisms of the European Economic Community. The agreed compromise was that instead of renaming the European Economic Community as the European Union, the treaty would establish a legally separate European Union comprising the renamed European Economic Community, and the intergovernmental policy areas of foreign policy, military, criminal justice, judicial cooperation. The structure greatly limited the powers of the European Commission, the European Parliament and the European Court of Justice to influence the new intergovernmental policy areas, which were to be contained with the second and third pillars, foreign policy and military matters and criminal justice in cooperation in civil matters. The Maastricht Criteria The Maastricht Criteria are the criteria for European Union member states to enter the third stage of European Economic and Monetary Union and adopt the euro as their currency. The four criteria are defined in Article 121 of the Treaty Establishing the European Community. They impose control over inflation, public debt and the public deficit, exchange rate stability and the convergence of interest rates. 1. Inflation rates no more than 1.5 percentage points higher than the average of the three best performing member states of the EU. 2. Government finance, annual government deficit, the ratio of the annual government deficit to gross domestic product must not exceed 3% at the end of the preceding fiscal year. If not, it is at least required to reach a level close to 3%. Only exceptional and temporary excesses would be granted for exceptional cases. Government debt, the ratio of gross government debt to GDP must not exceed 60% at the end of the preceding fiscal year. Even if the target cannot be achieved due to the specific conditions, the ratio must have sufficiently diminished and must be approaching the reference value at a satisfactory pace. As of the end of 2010, only six EU member states, Bulgaria, Estonia, Poland, Luxembourg, Finland and the Czech Republic, still meet this target. 3. Exchange rate, 
applicant countries should have joined the exchange rate mechanism under the European Monetary System for two consecutive years and should not have devalued its currency during the period. 4. Long-term interest rates The nominal long-term interest rate must not be more than two percentage points higher than in the three lowest inflation member states. The purpose of setting the criteria is to maintain the price stability within the euros uneven with the inclusion of new member states. Signing The signing of the Treaty of Maastricht took place in Maastricht, Netherlands on February 7, 1992. The Dutch government, by virtue of holding presidency of the Council of the European Union during the negotiations in the second half of 1991, arranged a ceremony inside the government buildings of the Limburg province on the River Mars. Representatives from the 12 member states of the European communities were present, and signed treaty as plenipotentiaries, marking the conclusion of the period of negotiations. Ratification The process of ratifying the treaty was fraught with difficulties in three states. In Denmark, the first Danish Maastricht Treaty referendum was held on June 2, 1992 but a shortfall of fewer than 50,000 votes resulted in the treaty not being ratified. After the failure, alterations were made to the treaty through the addition of the Edinburgh Agreement which lists four Danish exceptions. The treaty was eventually ratified the following year on May 18, 1993 after a second referendum was held in Denmark with legal effect after the formally granted royal assent on June 9, 1993. In September 1992, a referendum in France only narrowly supported the ratification of the treaty, with 51.05% in favour. Uncertainty over the Danish and French referendums was one of the causes of the turmoil on the currency markets in September 1992, which led to the UK pound's expulsion from the exchange rate mechanism. In the United Kingdom, an opt-out from the treaty's social provisions was opposed in Parliament by the opposition Labour and Liberal Democrat MPs and the treaty itself by the Maastricht rebels within the governing Conservative Party. The number of rebels exceeded the Conservative majority in the House of Commons, and thus the government of John Major came close to losing the confidence of the House. See also Treaty of Rome, Treaty of Amsterdam, Treaty of Nice, Treaty of Lisbon. References. External links, The Treaty on European Union, Original Version, The History of the European Union, The Treaty of Maastricht, Maastricht Treaty CVCE, Proposed 1962 Treaty Establishing a European Union CVCE, The Treaty on European Union, Current Consolidated Versions of the Treaty on European Union and the Treaty on the Functioning of the European Union.